Carving is one of the most fun things. I love doing it. The sensation of toppling into the turn to get big edge angles is one of the, yeah, it's so enjoyable. Hi, my name's Tom Gelly. I'm ex-Australian demo team member and founder of bigpictureskiing.com. Today what I'd like to give you some tips around is carving and more specifically early edge engagement and how to get those higher edge angles. So this is for the skier that wants to take their carving to the next level. They can kind of get a little bit of edge angle going and sort of leave some railroad tracks but then they struggle to tip it over further than that. So today this is really going to be aimed at improving your skiing. With the tips I'm about to give you, what you should feel is going to make it a much smoother transition through the turn. You're going to feel more stable at higher speeds and the ski is going to be doing a lot more of the work. And this will all result in you being able to ski much steeper slopes and go faster, have fun and, and it's going to feel great. So in this video, I'm going to be using a word toppling. I'm just going to quickly explain it. Uh, toppling is when you let gravity make something fall over. Like when you chop a tree down, it topples, it falls. And so we're trying to use that really easy, efficient force of toppling to help uh, give you easy, early edge engagement. So here are some turns where I'm deliberately sort of stopping the topple or not allowing it to happen very easily. And so that's limiting the amount of early edge engagement I can get and the amount I can tip and roll my skis over and use the side cut to help me turn. So now in these next turns, I'm really gonna let myself topple into the next turn and that allows my edges to roll over really easily and so the ski will bend and I get the help from the ski design to turn me around the corner. So there's no pushing, you're using like the forces from the old turn and a letting go sensation to help you topple to create early edge engagement in your turns. I'm always monitoring and assessing my own skiing for early edge. And today using Carve, you can see two different runs where one I've focused on early edge engagement and one where I haven't. If you're using Carve, you can measure how early you engage your edges using the early edge metric, which is pretty cool because we've never had this data before. You can see from these park and ride turns earlier that my early edge scores were quite low in comparison with another run where I really laid it over and used this toppling movement to achieve early edge angles. It's super useful to monitor my edging movements. I can clearly see how adjustments to my technique are influencing my turns. So it's quite cool to see that. So tip number one, actually starts at the end of the turn. So setting yourself up. So as I've built edge angles through the turn and there's pressure building, this downhill leg is gonna release the pressure so that I start to topple. Release, so my body starts falling through into the new turn. That's the topple. The most common problem is people hang on to the turn and they don't wanna fall in. So they resist with this outside leg and never relax it. And what they do to transition is they stand on this leg, up like that. So here we've got a turn coming around into a new turn. The timing of the toppling actually starts back here. This is possibly the new thing you're gonna hear. You wanna start the feeling of falling or releasing the pressure on that outside foot at this moment because your body's in here, you release here and your body will start to fall across into the new turn as your skis carve around the corner. Sounds a little crazy, I know, and this is why most people are not doing it because you have to trust that as you fall into the new turn, your edges catch, you start turning and that gives you your balance. If I relax really fast, I fall really fast. To begin with, you're just going to be softening a little bit and you can see I get a really slow topple. That leads us 
us into tip number two, where we're looking at how do we continue to allow ourselves to fall. This is the, the scary non-intuitive part, okay? So we're gonna use an exercise to help you to continue to topple inside the turn. So that's really tip number two. This is the high early edge engagement part. So the exercise, we can do it on really gentle terrain. I want you to find somewhere really flat, wide open, no one around. It's done in a really wide stance. And the idea is to feel yourself gradually toppling inside the new turn, not through a pushing movement, but almost by relaxing this leg which makes my whole body move inside. Okay, so I'm gonna feel a lot of weight on this leg, but this ski is going to, you watch this, tip over further, further, further. There's my higher edge angle early in the turn. This is like a training wheel that's, that allows me to topple a lot, but not feel like I'm gonna fall over. So this exercise may feel and look a little bit awkward, but it's like the analogy I'd say of training wheels on a bike when someone's learning. They're there to just give you some stability so you can kind of feel and work on some of the movements. We always take the training wheels away. So I'm using that in-rigger in leg just like a training wheel. So it's there to support me. So as I feel like a bit of a topple and a fall, that leg is still catching me. So I'm never really toppling, but I'm getting a sense of what that would do with my body to allow me to move in. So we're at the stage where we're ready to take it into linking some in-rigger turns. So follow along behind me and see if you can see that toppling, continued toppling to help me get on my edges more. So after practicing the in-rigger exercise on really flat terrain, you've hopefully developed a sensation of creating early edge angles through toppling and continuing to topple. Okay, so once you've got that feeling, it's time to take the in-rigger away, get back on a slope, and then start working on the same feeling, but without the in-rigger there. So it's time to take the training wheels off and let's go for a little bit of a faster run. Tip number three is refining all this toppling movements. So in this refinement stage of your toppling, the reason why it needs refining is because the rate at which you topple is really very much dependent on the speed you're going. Okay, so if you want to be able to topple more and still be on the outside ski with all the pressure, you have to be going really quite fast. So the refinement is you feeling how speed, picking up gradually the speed will help you to be able to topple that little bit further, further, further inside the turn and be able to get out and into the next one. So take a run with me as I practice refining how much I topple for some different speed turns. So using the end of the turn pressure, release it, top a little further. Release it, top a little further. Pressure builds, I release it and fall sideways. So my edges tip. I'm gonna go a little faster now, which means I'll be able to topple a little further. Release and topple. I'm gonna to now play if I can do it more. Topple, oh, that was a nice one. Really smooth sensation. Release and continue to topple like the in-rigger was there. There we go. So that could be an example of you playing around and refining the topple movement. So starting slow, because even at slower speeds, this should happen, it allows you to get that early edge engagement just far more easily with your body. And then you can start picking up speed. As that speed picks up, that gives you more freedom to topple further. <laughs> so, that's a wrap on today's lesson on early edge engagement through using toppling. So if we go back through the steps and the tips, the first one, use the pressure built up from the last turn and learn to soften and relax your legs against that to begin a toppling movement. It happens earlier than you think. And then second, we use the in-rigger exercise to get a sensation at slower speeds of continuing to topple into the turn using the edges to make us turn further. Finally, I talked about refinement 
And what I meant by this was just playing with the ends of the spectrum. How much, how little do you need? And especially playing with speed to help you increase and use more toppling to get early and continued high edge angles. Carving is one of the most fun things. I love doing it. The sensation of toppling into the turn to get big edge angles is one of the, yeah, it's so enjoyable. If you like this video, please hit subscribe. Leave a comment if you'd like to do more. We'd love to produce some more videos to help you guys uh, ski a little better. I'm off, toppling, see ya.